The saab bofors Dynamics N law, also known as the MBT law or Robot 57, is a fire and forget lightweight shoulder fired disposable line of sight missile system designed for infantry use. The missile uses a soft launch system with a saltwater countermass, meaning it can safely be launched from an enclosure as small as 8x8x13. The Robot 57 is guided by predicted line of sight and can carry out an overfly top attack on armored vehicles or a direct attack on structures and non-armored vehicles. The warhead is a downwards facing, explosively formed penetrator. Using this inertial type guidance system greatly reduces the per shot cost when compared to an infrared seeker such as the Javelin. The way that the Javelin and Enlaw attack the top of their targets is different as well. In the standard firing mode, the Javelin will fly upwards, then guide itself down on top of the target using its forward-facing, explosively formed penetrator, whereas the Enlaw flies directly towards its target, flying over the top and firing its EFP downward. If my understanding of this is correct, this means that the Javelin does not lose any armor penetrating capability when used in direct fire mode, but the Enlaw does. Because the Enlaw's EFP is downward facing, firing it directly into the side of a vehicle means you lose the benefit of a shaped charge, and this seems to be borne out by the manufacturers saying that its direct attack should be used against structures and non-armored vehicles. The Javelin will lose effectiveness being fired against thicker side armor when in direct attack mode, but the amount of armor that it can penetrate will not be reduced. But this combination of factors means the N-Law can be safely used at much closer range. The N-Law can safely be used as close as 20 meters, whereas for the Javelin, the direct fire minimum operating range is 65 meters, and for top attack, it's 150. This is what it looks like when you fire an N-Law inside its minimum firing range. I can't seem to find a good explanation of the inertial guidance system, but if my understanding is correct, the N-Law could potentially be evaded if the target vehicle changed speed or direction after the missile was fired, since the missile doesn't have an active seeker head. If someone who knows better could explain, I'd appreciate it. Additionally, the Javelin uses a tandem warhead, which can defeat explosive reactive armor, whereas the N-Law does not. Exactly how much armor a Javelin can penetrate is classified, but it's been reported that the six pound warhead can penetrate all armor types up to at least 30 inches. The four pound warhead of the Enlaw can reportedly penetrate 20 inches, but it doesn't specify what type of armor, which means it's probably rolled hardened steel. The system was developed in Sweden by Saab Bofors Dynamics on behalf of the British and Swedish Defense Forces. It was mainly produced in the United Kingdom, and users of the weapon include Finland, Indonesia, Luxembourg, Malaysia, Sweden, Switzerland, Ukraine, and the United Kingdom. The Javelin system costs $178,000, incurring $78,000 per shot. The Enlaw appears to be entirely disposable and currently costs approximately $33,000 per shot.